riddle for you. What's under five feet tall, has brown hair, and likes chocolate chocolate chip ice cream? That's very easy. Our son. Good. Got another one for you. How come you trust me to make sure that he does all his homework, eats all his vegetables, and doesn't ride his bike without a helmet, and yet you wouldn't trust me with this? I did trust you. I trusted you with my life, because our son is my life. I just... It's why I had to keep you in the dark about Jim. It's a big mistake. I could have helped you. I couldn't take that risk, Tad. Jim was relentless. He took down anybody who got in his way. And I was next on the list. And I had to make sure that you were safe. For Jamie. So that you would make sure that his homework got done and all of that icky green stuff got in his diet, that you were there to... to love him in my place. I'll tell you something. No one could ever take your place. You were in a class all by yourself. I second that emotion. Well, there's nothing I wouldn't do for, for Jamie. You know that. You proved that tonight. Hey, did you know I'm worth a cool two million dollars? <laughs> Jim had the foresight to take out insurance policies on Edmund and me, naturally naming himself as the beneficiary. Naturally. Edmund came pretty close to cashing his in. He is okay, isn't he? Mm. Sure, I think so. Nothing that a shower, shave, and three days of uninterrupted sleep wouldn't fix, but I'll check with my brother, the doctor, to get the medical report. Okay. Oh, dear. Are you all right? I'm fine, really, really. Yeah, hi, this is uh, Tad Martin calling. You Can mustn't you blame yourself, to... darling. When yeah, I think Dr. of how Jake I Martin. push the two of you together, yeah, I... Okay. Well, I'm humiliated, really. But it does prove the old adage, there is no fool like an old fool. <laughs> Jim fooled us all, Aunt Phoebe. Well, then shame on him. Shame on him. Well, if it isn't Dr. Moe. <clears throat> you paged. Yeah, how's Edmund? Well, considering what he's been through, I'd say he's lucky to be alive. Well, he's gonna be okay, isn't he? We're treating his uh, bacterial infection right now, trying to keep the fever down. Well, Jake, we're not talking life or death here, are we? No, I don't know. It's too soon to tell. Oh. Well, um, make sure you tell him that, uh, uh... Never mind, I'll tell him tomorrow myself. Okay. Hey, listen, I heard that you played a part in what went down tonight. Yeah, glorified spear carrier. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, okay? Bye. Well, uh... The good news is that uh, my brother, the doctor, says that Edmund is resting comfortably. Oh, God bless the dear boy. Mm. Well, I'm uh, totally beaten. I know you are, too, so I'm going to hit the road. You did good tonight. I'm proud of you, okay? Call you tomorrow. Thank you, darling, with all my heart for seeing Brooke home safely. For you, baby, the world. Oh, bless you. Drive safely. Surprise! Surprise! Surprise. <laughs> you thought this party was all over with, didn't you? Well... Let me tell you something. It's just beginning. No! No! Oh, dear. I heard you call out. Uh, it's okay. It's just... It's just a bad dream, that's all. It's over now, sweetheart. No, it's not over. Oh, darling. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brooke and I were involved at one time. How involved? We had an affair. We spent a lot of time together. We spent a lot of time acting as her son's surrogate father. We spent a lot of time changing diapers. <laughs> Those are the ties that bind. Yes, they are. I'll tell you something, Keith. Brooke helped give my life some definition, some direction. She's a, she's a damn good lady. I believe you. But the fact remains, she had a complicated involvement with the murder no, victim. The fact remains that Brooke English is not capable of committing cold-blooded murder. Photo blow-ups found at the crime scene. <clears throat> Laura. Yep, courtesy of Jim Thomason. Sick. Enough to turn your stomach. Enough to turn Brooke English into a mama lion defending her cub. It's a jungle out there, Jackson. Kill or be killed. Excuse me. Brooke is no vigilante. She... I've known her for a long time. And she gives back 100% to this town. She runs a homeless shelter. She, she took Lori in when she was just a street kid with attitude. Yeah, I know. Woman of the year. I read the file. But the fact remains, a man's dead. And how he got that way is for a jury to decide. Which leads me to wonder, where does that leave you? Yeah, we're indeed. I tried a case last summer that I shouldn't have tried. I'd like to think that I learned from my past mistakes. Given my relationship to Brooke English, past and present and future, I hereby recuse myself from this case. 